All right, once again, we are live this morning here at Bristol Motor Speedway right here on the fan stage at the fan zone here with Food City. And of course, this is a very important weekend as well for Speedway Children's Charities. And with that in mind, we want to bring in our good friend Betsy Holloman, of course, with Speedway Children's Charities. Big weekend ahead, and I know you guys love to get involved and bring some excitement to fans while raising some money for this charity. Absolutely. Why would we not take advantage of having all these people on our property and close by um, in order to raise money for Speedway Children's Charities. So this is a really important weekend, this weekend, and then of course Spring Race. This is where a lot of your fundraising comes in. This is where um, about a quarter of our fundraising comes in. Um, you know, pre-COVID pre times, we were hoping to raise about $200,000. So we're hoping to get back to that um, in a week of fundraising, raising over $200,000. And I love how creative you are with the fundraising. So many opportunities to really connect fans to the racing, mm -hmm. the drivers that they love, and some opportunities. Yeah, we have so many different race fans. And so that's the beauty of fundraising is that we want to provide something for everyone um, and a way for everybody to give back. All right, so let's talk about the auction that you guys do. I know this is very popular. Yes, we used to do an auction with 80 plus items in the Bruton Smith building. We thought, you know what, let's let's do something a little, a little different. And so for the past couple of years, we've been doing a live auction here on the Food City Fan Zone stage on Friday and Saturday. And so that includes um, signed memorabilia pieces and experiences and um, some other really cool stuff that we're able to offer people. And of course, the drivers love to get involved as well and give back to Speedway Children's Yes, charities. sometimes they'll throw in um, items here, take off a hat or a jacket or something and auction it here. So that's, that's always fun to see what's going to be thrown in. Yeah, very exciting. And then Cornhole, who doesn't love a good Cornhole yeah. tournament? And you guys have become known for yours. Yes, I can't remember how many years we've done it, over 10 years. But the Cornhole um, stage is set a little bit away from the Fan Zone stage, but it's sponsored by the U.S. Army. And so that'll start today. We'll have a couple of qualifiers today and, and two tomorrow. And then we'll end with a big championship that um, has prize money attached. And that's fun for the spectators, too. Yes. You always see them kind of hanging around there, watching, cheering everybody on. We have some fans that stay there all week. <laughs> Very nice. And you also have the 50-50 raffle. Yes, we I believe we reached the $28,000 mark yesterday. So we've got Great. two more days to sell those tickets and they're tiered prices. So um, if you want to spend $10 or $100, um, you'll have the opportunity to do that all over our property all weekend. And you'll see those red buckets coming out, going around. You'll also see them in stores this time. I yes. saw one yesterday in the Food City in Piney Flats. So a wonderful opportunity for everybody to support these groups. Yes, we always say every little bit helps. So a change, a little bit of change or a lot of change um, makes change. And so that's what we're doing at Food City locations around our property. Um, we're also having red buckets in the grandstands. We've got red buckets on golf carts. So anytime you see that red bucket, make sure you drop something in it, um, like I said, because it makes a big difference. It does make a difference. And we're all coming together. Betsy, this money is so important to local organizations. Yes, we, we serve a lot of grassroots campaigns and, and organizations, and without our funding, they would have to close their doors. And so all of those organizations are meeting basic critical need, um, and it's getting even more critical. And so we want to help fill those, those gaps and those voids this year, and this is um, a big way we do that. It's a big weekend ahead. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank and really you. sharing all the different ways that you can get involved, help make a difference, support Speedway Children's Charities. It's giving back to organizations right here in our community. We're going to take a break. We're back with more of Daytime Tri-Cities live from Bristol Motor Speedway right after this.